as I look for these, um, as I look for these, um, as I look for these, um, gotcha. <laughs> as I look for these articles, I don't just pick articles. There's two parts. I pick articles that something that there's a resolution. I don't want anybody's opinion. I don't want anybody's assumption. I don't want this might be happenings. Okay. I wait for the evidence because everything before it's been proven is just a lie. And you know me, I don't lie here. So while I'm looking for truth. I'm looking for something that has a beginning, middle and end. Or I look, and on top of that, I also look for something that doesn't necessarily affect the individual as much as it affects the whole. Okay. And these are, this to me is one of those big, this affects the whole ones. Okay. Because in 2022, Disney lost over $120 billion. $120 billion is so much money. That is more money than a lot of cities yearly budget, like a functioning active city. And when you think about a company like Walt Disney that actually owns multiple cities, it makes sense. But the idea, now listen, this is why it's crazy to me, is that we as a country in the United States have companies with GDPs, right? If you think that Disney is in its own ecosystem, its own economy, you're a fool. Disney is accountable to the laws of the land, barely, but most importantly to Disney. Because if they make a product, they produce the product, they ship the product, they, I'm telling you, Disney has paid for roads to be constructed, Disney has paid for plants to be constructed, they have done infrastructure, they own power plants, they own sewer companies. We are a nation that is united federally and at the state level. And we have companies so powerful that they actually rival the very country that um, it lives in. Like the, and that to me is quite an interesting situation to be in. Because if you look at other nations that have... We'll call them developed nations. A great example is the, it's not the, it's that beer company in, I don't remember the specifics, unfortunately, but there is a nation and basically it's like 25% of its GDP comes from one company. Um, and it's the oldest company in the country. And it essentially, that is the nation's money is that one company. I can't remember what it is. It's an old beer company though. Heineken? I believe it's Heineken. Heineken. So Heineken, that is an example of a nation where one company kind of rules all and works in coexistence with the government. In America, we have several companies that are, in terms of financial status, completely, they don't need, they don't need the government for all intents and purposes. But in the US, this is the wild part. The government has essentially become all powerful because what it makes me think of is a part of this $120 billion loss for Disney was they went to war in Florida. They thought the hubris of Disney, as much as I was just talking about how big and beautiful and brilliant Disney is in terms of like, I never said they were a threat to the U.S. government because it got proven something unbelievable. We live in a nation where our federal government is out moneyed by the companies and they still don't even stand a chance when it comes to fighting back, which is interesting. I don't really, I kind of lost my train of thought in terms of where, not train of thought, I, my point shifted. I had one idea and as I thought about, holy crap, even a, even a company that can just swallow $120 billion and still be what they are, they have no chance against go, going against even one state, not even the federal government, 
one state. And Disney is across the globe, an international company that can swallow $120 billion in one year, got bitch slapped by one governor. <laughs> if, if that doesn't show you who you should focus on in terms of everyone's like, fuck these rich people, man. They aren't even in the wheelhouse of who has control. Okay, these rich people, all these 1.01%, all the people we hate so much, not me. <laughs> I, don't, I would love to be a rich person, and I'm working on it. But ultimately, they can't even blow a fart towards the government. And without the U.S. saying, no, you want to try that again? But why do we put so much attention here? Why did I talk? Why am I talking about Disney losing 120 billion? And instead, I should be talking about how a company like Disney, who can lose 120 billion, is a, is, is a cliff note in the power that our government has against us. Because ultimately, if Disney can't fight it, what the hell are we supposed to do? We're supposed to live our lives, is what we're supposed to do, in spite of them. That's what it is. Because they are not. Many. We are. And the only way that they control us is through fear and fear. Fear of getting in trouble. Fear of um, having our lives ruined. Fear of loss. Having our children taken away. Having our homes taken away. Being audited. Everyone's scared of being audited, even though the chances of you being audited are astronomically small. Everybody's scared of being arrested, even though the chance of you being arrested is astronomically small. The government <laughs> is the best and worst thing that is in your life. And because that is true, it just it's important to stay informed on what they're doing. And this ultimately Disney losing 120 billion the, I mean that's what happens. You fuck around find out. You make stuff for people who don't want to buy it, they ain't going to buy it. This is just business. If Disney loses if Disney has a bad year, it's 120 billion. Okay, if, if Billy's sub shop has a bad year, it's minus 2,000. Either way, these people are having a bad year. So in the economy, the up and downs come a lot, man. The up and downs come, they come and go. It's not about Disney losing 120 billion. It's about why they lost. But more importantly, it's about this is a cliff note in the true reality of what is going on in our world. So don't only focus on Disney losing 120 because they wipe their ass with that much. I mean, that's a lot, but still, this ain't the important stuff.